better. <laughs> Welcome, dreamy friends. So I am so excited. I just had the chance to interview my dear friend, Aurora Winter. It's This is the new year and the this is the first live Facebook Live that I'm doing. And I'm so happy to be joined with Aurora Winter or Instagram Live, however this is going to show up. So hi, Aurora. Hi, Kelly. So great to be here with you and launch 2020 with your audience. With 2020 vision. So we, you were just on the show, on the Ask Dr. Dream show. So if anybody wants to go back and look at it, go to unityonlineradio.com and go into the archives of the Ask Dr. Dream show. But what I want to do right now is talk about what you didn't get a chance to say on the show. You said so many insightful, life-changing things, but I know, so we talked about the peace method, how to go from heartbreak to happiness, post-traumatic growth and how to come into your superpower from your, your kryptonite, how to transform kryptonite into superpower. But what are the, some of the things that you didn't get to say that you really oh, wanted to? Oh, there were to? so many things I didn't I to say, which I have to write multiple books. That's the solution. <laughs> oh my goodness. So one of the things that I um, really love to offer people as a tool, the tool that we talked about on the absolutely awesome radio interview you did was the peace Thank method. You. But the other um, habits I'd love people to step into, which is great whether you're healing grief or whether you want to step into uh, bigger, bolder leadership, are three radical leadership habits. So I've been doing these for years and they've made a profound difference to my peace of mind, my prosperity, my idea generation, and also to my course correction because we can get off course and so to notice those things. So these are three things you can do right away, and I think this would be a great way, uh, great new habits to implement in 2020. First one I call um, a radical, we call them radical reading, writing, and not arithmetic, but radical reading, not writing, and, <laughs> <laughs> reading, writing, and reflection. So start with the reading. Your brain engages when you read in a different way. It's more active than if you a listening or watching a video. So each night, carve out some time to read. It could be as little as one page. Mm. You know, it doesn't have to take long. You could read one, uh, one inspiring quote. You could read one page of a book or one chapter. You know, I'm reading every night and sometimes I read for five minutes, sometimes I read for an hour. And it's really, wow, people put so much work into books. As you know, you're an author. Kelly. Yeah. You can learn so much so quickly. Somebody will spend a decade or two studying something and you can read their book and in a couple of weeks and you've got, wow, so much information. So right. radical reading, the radical part is I really invite people Do to every day. read every day, but also read a physical book, not a Kindle, not a no! new phone. I mean, that's the radical I'm so part. attached to my, I, I can't not read it on my phone. I'm so, even though I've got this big, beautiful book, Shantaram, that my best friend just gave me and I'm so excited to read it. I'm like, can I get it on Kindle? Uh, uh, if, you, if you must get it on Kindle, then you got to turn off the alerts. Because yes. Oh, yeah. Shallow thinking. You know, if you're always. No, no, no. Airplane mode, do not disturb. Ringer off volume all the way down just in case. All right. Well, yeah. that's acceptable. The Thank second, you. <laughs> the second thing is radical writing, which is each morning write just for mm. a couple of minutes without editing, without stopping, without spell checking, without um, any worrying about grammar. You want to vent. You want to share your dreams, obviously, but you also mm. want to share things that are bugging you, things that are upsetting you, your lusts, your fantasies, your upsets. Just get rid of it. You know, if you can't feel it, you can't heal it. And uh, just share, share, share. This is not writing a book. This is not something you're going to share with anybody else. It sounds like you wanted to share something on that. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, Julia Cameron talked about the artist way, the artist pages, um, morning pages. And that to me changed my whole life. But yeah. I've also found that writing, even if it's for a project, just writing in the morning is one of the most empower, maybe the most empowering thing I've discovered that I can do to create my world and to, it's to have my peace of mind, not be ephemeral, but become solid. So the last one in a moment. <laughs> the is last one is radical reflection. So 
look at what you've written. Every, I would recommend every Sunday, take a few minutes and look at what you wrote over the week. Notice patterns, notice things that are working for you, things that are not working for you. For example, I noticed that when I hit a wall at around five o'clock, I was reaching for a glass of wine. Well, one day, no problem. But as a habit, not too good. <gasps> uh... <laughs> then I changed my course because I noticed, hey, wait a minute, I should choose something else to do at five o'clock when I've got that you know, energy. Oh. Um, yeah, and I actually completely stopped drinking as a result of the radical reflection. So radical wow. reading, writing, and reflection can reading, totally writing, change reflection. your life. And you can get the tips online at thoughtleaderlaunch.com. You can get the free chapter and the tips to remind you how to do all of this, thoughtleaderlaunch.com. And all of this can also be found at aurorawinter.com. Aurorawinter.com, and they can click on the free ebook and they can download some tips. Some, some, uh, there's actually 10 laws for leaders, and this is just a couple of them. Awesome. So happy new year, everyone. May 2020 be your dreamiest one yet.